Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ball Fake Podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe, and support our new movement by putting Let's Go Viral in the comment section. But if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, make sure to give us a five-star rating and a nice review. But without further ado, here are your hosts, Nicely Chugga Benny and Greg King. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another quick NBA update video here on the Ball Fake Podcast, members of the Off The Ball Network. And today's video will be centered around all-star caliber power forward Ben Simmons. Now, Ben Simmons reportedly still has not been cleared to take the NBA court as a member of the Brooklyn Nets. Simmons, who hasn't played NBA basketball since June 20th, has been dealing with irritation of the L4 disc of his lower spine since around the NBA trade deadline. The 25-year-old who hasn't played all season has had a history of back spasms in the past, dating back to the 2020 season Simmons missed eight straight games and received daily treatment for nerve issues in his lower back area the following year he suffered a nerve impingement in his lower back which granted him so much pain that it caused him to vomit according to the former head coach of that time frame Brett Brown Simmons had another flare-up earlier this season as a member of the Philadelphia 76ers and now he's dealing with the same circumstances as a member of the Brooklyn Nets this is Simmons's fourth back injury in the last two years and couldn't have come at a more inconvenient time period for the Brooklyn Nets with the postseason just a few weeks away and Simmons' availability status is still unknown, it seems apparent that we may not see him perform before this postseason. Simmons hasn't partaken in any one-on-one -on -one workouts, nor has he been deemed to participate in any high level of intensity activities. He currently is unable to run or sprint, and his rehab has been delayed longer than expected. Simmons was projected to return to practice last Saturday, but was unable to participate given he's still experiencing lower back pain. Simmons recently received an epidural while the Nets were in Orlando in hopes to reduce his current back pain and speed up his recovery process. This news could heighten the possibility of Simmons making a return before this postseason as the Brooklyn Nets aim for Simmons' debut on April 8th and another appearance on the 10th just in time for the postseason. And given the vaccine mandate hasn't granted all NBA guard Kyrie Irving access to partake in home games at the Barclays Center, the Nets are hopeful they can see Simmons on the floor in time before the postseason. But hey, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation here in the comment section. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video here with me on the Ball Fake Podcast. If you're new to our YouTube channel or listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, make sure to give us a five-star rating, like, comment, and subscribe, turn on post notification, and give us a nice review. But besides that, it's your boy, Nicey Chungabini. You're listening to the Ball Fake Podcast, and we out.